I'm here in Milton with AJ Natter. He's signing to play football for Nebraska today. Uh, you know, this day is a formality for most people in your position, but now that you're finally here, is it kind of nice to just get this out of the way and make it official? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's been a while since I've been, you know, since I committed, so uh, it's kind of nice to have it official and you know, put your name on the dotted line and whatnot. But I can't, let, I can't wait for a, for a graduation so I can get down there and start making a difference. What's it like to have all your family and friends coming out here today awesome. to see this? You know, it's all the support. You know, Milton's a great community, and as is the rest of the Rock County and Wisconsin and whatnot. So, uh, you know, I, I'm very proud of. Uh, I should say they're proud of me. I'm very blessed to have such great people. You know, represent myself or myself represent them too. So, um, you know, it's just it's a great day. I know uh, a lot of fans around the state are probably sad to see you leave and uh, head to Nebraska. I mean, since you announced your decision, I mean, is it probably an everyday thing? People ask you, why aren't you going to Wisconsin? Um, not as much anymore. You know, it used to be every once in a while, but I think that people know that I have my reasons behind it. And, uh, you know, I, I made sure to, I was confident in my decision and, you know, no decommitting or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, everyone's respectful of it and they understand why I went there. If you had to put it down to one factor, um, you know, what was it? I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I mean, they're so similar, it's ridiculous, but it's just the comfort level, I guess, that I had down there was, you know, just that much better than up here in Madison, so that'd probably be it. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be fair to say that uh, Bo Pelini's kind of characterized as a polarizing coach around the nation. I guess in your dealings with him, what have your impressions been and why did you want to play for him? Uh, well, I mean, on the field, of course, you get to see the worst of him. I mean, not, not necessarily the worst, but uh, you get to see the intensity of him. And, but, you know, off the field, he's a, he's a very down-to-earth guy. He's, you know, like a father to some kids on the team. And, uh, you know, you don't see it both sides of him. You only see the side that the media portrays. And, uh, but, you know, that's, that's the same with a lot of people. You'll never truly know everyone. Uh, I don't know what you think of this rivalry between Wisconsin and Nebraska. It seems to be, um, it's, it's growing here, especially, um, you know, given this season, splitting the meetings, meeting in the Big Ten title game. Did you watch that game? And I guess yeah. what's going through your mind yeah. when you see your defense get 70 points hung yeah. on it? It wasn't uh, very pretty, <laughs> obviously, but um, yeah, it's, I think it's going to be a, a pretty good rivalry in a few years that, uh, that they play in. Obviously, that was a game for Wisconsin to look back on and smile. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's football, and there's always a team that has to lose. And in that case, it wasn't very pretty, but it was a loss, and it's something to build off of. And you know, you gotta, you got to have those kind of losses. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like to say that uh, Madison here has one of the best game day atmospheres. How do you feel Lincoln stacks up? Uh, Lincoln is amazing. Uh, the fans down there are, you know, just great. I, I believe that they are one of the best fan bases in the world, but I mean, Doug and I have some biased opinion now, but uh, they're both very similar though. They're both very devoted fans, very passionate fans, and the two, the two colleges are actually very similar. It's ridiculous how much the same they are, and, uh, but the fan base is very, very strong on there. Getting into the actual uh, playing of the game, do you see yourself you know, seeing meaningful playing time immediately this first year? I wouldn't say immediately. I, I guess I don't really know for sure. It all depends how I progress in the off season. So I mean, only time will tell. Uh, this is two Milton players in three years going into the Big Ten. Obviously, Nate Hammond walked on at Wisconsin a couple years back. What do you think that says about this program? Uh, it's it's progressing, and I think that it's only going to get stronger. I think that the schools are starting to look at you know the our Division Two in Wisconsin is very very tough, obviously. And, you know, we have some very good players in this conference as well, and uh, that only helps with the competition and the prestige of the conference. And I think that more players will be getting looks in the future. Okay, Jay. Well, that's all the questions awesome. I had for you. Appreciate your time, and good luck at Nebraska. Thank you.